sorry, Coach, you get uh, another victory here and start your career as a head coach 2-0. So before we get into this game, just talk about what it what it feels like, you know, getting this program and getting to a 2 0 start to your head coaching career. Yeah, I, I'm I'm extremely proud and and happy for the guys. Um, you know, we feel like we work really hard. I think everybody feels that way, but we feel like we work really hard. Um, and uh, I, I'm just proud of them. Uh, you know, 49 to 49 points uh, for Mississippi College is is a really big feat and a great effort defensively to do that. And I'm I'm. I'm thrilled, and what I told the guys in there is, you know, 49, and I walk in there and I think, what could it have been? Because we'll go through the tape and we'll find bad hedges and we'll find bad guys we didn't extend or the and one we gave up, and we'll find all these, we'll find all of them and feel like, what could we really have done? Could it have been 40, 44? Um, but that is a big time effort to guard that team. They got two guys that can get 20 on any given night. They got a shooter on the wing that's, you know, big time shooter. Uh, and they got a lot of different pieces around the basket that are tough that make it really hard to guard. Uh, that was a really good test for us, uh, for us to bounce back and do that and hold them to 49. I, I'm, I'm thrilled to death for that, but know that, that we're a long way from, from getting it done. <laughs> um, talking about holding them and having one player for them getting the double figures. On the flip side, you have four players in double figures, and none of them were Justin. There was four players who didn't play for you last year getting it done tonight. So um, what can you say about the effort of um, both your Davises and um, Corporate Miles and, and um, Shadarian Allen tonight? Yeah, they, they all are, obviously, it's really important. I mean, we have about a seven or eight-man rotation. You know, there's a, there's, you know, nobody really knows this, but we've got one that's not with us right now because of, you know, the COVID protocols from a week or so ago. And, um, you know, he's a starter for our team, Cannon Pouncey. And so, you know, we don't have him right now and uh, hoping to get him back really soon. But, but. You know those guys to step in, Roger. I'm I'm thrilled for him. You know, we call him Fat Shardarian Allen. We call him Fat, but but uh, you know he's playing really well and he's a really important piece for us. You know, Roger's been important from you know we knew what he was going to do. That's why we redshirted him last year and uh, and it was to his advantage because he was able to sit back and travel and be a part of it and 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 see what it took. Uh, who else do we say? Right, you know. Here's one thing about Rob Davis that, that you know that, that obviously nobody knows unless you're in the program is, is the selflessness that he has. Um, you know, many days he's in the locker room before our coaching staff. He'll go get the he'll go get the jerseys out of the washing machine and put them all out for or out of the dryer and put them on out for everybody. You know, you know things like that that are selfless people that you know it's good to see them have good games and be rewarded like that and. Um, so so happy to have have him have a good game and really you know counting on him a lot. So, um, but but yeah, those guys and you know one thing that goes unnoticed in all of this is you know C.J. Melton is a is a factor defensively. Um, he's like a I don't know like a Swiss Army knife in, in defending. We can you know put you can put him on the other team's best guard or we can put him on the other team's best big and and. Not that he's going to get to stop every time, but he is effective and he does really well. Um, he can hedge a ball screen, or he can guard a guard and get over the top of it and defend it. And you know, he's like a like a like I said, a Swiss Army knife defensively, and and we're going to use that to as much as we can, get every drop out of that as much as we can. And so, um, yeah, a bunch of different good pieces. We got a long way to go, but but a good good home stand. I'm really really happy for our guys. All right, final question. You have a quick turnaround getting ready for Union. Um, what did you learn this weekend that you can apply in literally two days? Yeah, I don't I don't know. I'm not <laughs> sure. I, I, I may have to call some, some other coaches, some other friends, and try to figure out something, see if somebody can tell me something that I don't know. But, um, you know, I, we just need to get in there and watch the film. And this time of year, I think it's more about us and how we defend and how we play offensively than it is about the other team. Um, you know, Union scores the ball as good as anybody. You know, we kind of watch the scores. You can kind of keep up with them, but they score the ball as good as anybody. They shoot the three ball as good as anybody. Um, they've, you know, coach coach Nevin, they have always done a really good job with getting their guys in positions to get open threes and, you know, running stuff that makes it really hard to guard. They spread you out and have a bunch of guards, have bigs that can shoot it. You know, totally different ball game from what it was now. You know, Mississippi College inside, inside, slip. 
Union spread out threes. It's a totally different ball game. It's really, really going to test our defense. Uh, you know, 49 tonight and turn around and play Union, and they're putting up like 70, 80, 90, making 12. I think I made 12 threes a, a couple nights ago. And so, totally different ball game. Um, we don't have to be ready to go, and, and hopefully, we'll have some legs and, and be ready to do it.